Welcome to module 14 and in this one we'll talk about uh, testing and obviously testing is pretty important. It's part of the, the delivery process that you, you must have and you must have a good way of, of understanding whether or not this works or not. Um, <laughs> well, it's not that easy obviously a lot of times to figure out how you can actually really test things. Um, and you'll probably run into something that's really difficult to test because the nature of it or something else that's going on. Um, but you need at least to have a way to document that you have made these changes, you have tested them and you can see that it works. And hopefully you also have a good way to do regression testing so you can actually see what was changed uh, in, in the past. So uh, I have heard about the customers that have created uh, two different flows um, on the same logic and stuff like that. So if you had one that, that got an uh, IDOC, they would also have created a, a HTTP channel that, that points to this. Um, that way you would be able to, to trigger it uh, two times or in, in a different setting and thereby be able to, to test it. And you can, of course, use uh, either Postman or SOAP UI for it. And it, it depends on a lot of your scenarios, what you have. Uh, but a lot of times these, these tools is a little complicated, uh, getting up and running, set up some, some scenarios that really make a lot of sense and enable you to actually test properly uh, and be able to compare the results because if you have a large document, it's not just about running the message mapping. You also need to figure out what was changed in the specific place, what was the reasons and stuff like that. And that can sometimes be a little challenging. At FIGAF, we have also worked a lot on making uh, test automation, making it easier for customers to actually test the, the, the iFlows without you actually having to, to think about it. And the way we do this is uh, the re record replay a uh, scenario where you can actually fetch messages from it, for instance from your productive system and use them on your test system. Um, the way we do this is a little different than how we're testing on PI and we're using the trace mode of scenario so we once you say you want to record it we flip a scenario into a trace mode you can run the messages through number of messages the system will then download it and you can then use it to, to run these things. Um, and yeah, it, it enables you to, to, to make some, uh, some steps uh, pretty easy for, for handling this. Uh, you can set up ignoring um, of, of specific elements if you have uh, scheduled steps or some of the, the sub adapters we do not support directly. It will just create a new flow as a copy with all elements, but create a new uh, start point for this. Um, you can download figaf.com and it's also able to, to give you uh, testing scripts. So let me just show you a little about what we can actually do in it. So we did uh, have, so we have a way here that we can connect to our system, we can download all iFlows, all configuration, and we can view what just changed and stuff like that uh, on these objects. So I wanted to, we created this uh, module eight scenario, and I wanted to do a recording of that, uh, just to, because that's one of the, probably the, the best scenarios we have for this. So we can put in our scenario here. We can see if we have, uh, Someone has transported this. Um, so we want to record these messages. We want to record two messages. And we want to create a new template. So all these are grouped into templates. Uh, we can specify partners and messages names. And since the payload is something like this, we can actually just have, uh, I guess, buyer as the element. So when we're running this, it will then create a new recording request. Once we say press, we got uh, 10 minutes uh, to start sending these messages in. So let's try to send one message in. 
and another one that's just a different partner. Add an extra line item. Two goats. Oh. Then do editing in real time. Otherwise, it'll just give problems. Uh, <laughs> I told you. Okay, let's drop this. Let's. Okay, we have a different partner number. We have a different order number now. So we have two messages in. We can see they have been processed, edited, and stuff like that. So all is good. What we can then do with the ET is we can then connect download all this uh, this data that we have um, and this obviously takes a little while because it's saving all the different intermediate steps that you have and uh, now we got the data we can see we have created here so we can create the test case so now it's just downloaded it now we want to create a test case for it and obviously there's a lot of settings we can go into but I don't want to do that here. So here we can see it's created two different test cases for the different ones. Um, and you can then actually run this. And that means it will go into the system, set it into trace mode and uh, send the messages through. And once it's done that, we can pull, which would mean download all the results and see what's actually being processed here. So now we can see we have downloaded the result uh, here. It still says unfinished, but we can see it has created here. So we can see actually it did create the first one. We did get an error. We can see the diffs here. Uh, and this is some correlation ID. That's okay. These are failing. So we just need to add these. So let's see the, the last one after our message mapping. Uh, we didn't put a. Uh, we just had a date, not a timestamp in it. Um, so if we run this again, it should be okay. Um, and we can also in here specify that we want an order date. So if order date changes tomorrow, it will still be okay. Uh, so with this, we actually have a pretty good tool of understanding if something changes uh, when we're processing these things. Um, if you want to do any Groovy script, as I told you before, we actually have a way here we can create a Groovy script uh, sand sandbox or whatever you would call it that actually allow you to to run the message as it would look at this point in time, and then you just need to put it into your developer studio or wherever you are developing it, change this this file maybe you need to delete this uh, implementation we wanted to create a local implementation because then you don't need to to import as much uh, references but there's a, a manual uh, on the figure site on what you just need to to import for this to work but this makes it pretty easy to install some of these components and ensure that they run uh, successfully so uh, yes that's a good way to to test what you have um, and we are yeah adding new features uh, to it so uh, it's changing you can try it out at uh, figaf.com and try to build the scripts uh, so based on real test data so uh, go try that out if uh, you want a, a different way of testing than just sending a message in uh, and check the response